I, I do believe it is a huge milestone in usability, but also in security. And the way that Jezor Safe 7 features the first ever auditable secure element in the world. And we call it Jezor Safe 7. We were invited to Prague, where Trezor gathered more than 500 people from around the world to launch the next generation of their hardware wallets, the Trezor Safe 7. It's been a while since we've seen a real hardware launch in crypto. So when one of the biggest names decides to do it in person, that says something. Uh, I feel ecstatic. I'm super happy the team worked so incredibly hard to make this happen. And like, I'm always nervous something goes wrong, but I feel like we pulled it off. So I'm super excited to show this product that we have worked for many, many years on. And Trey Soar could have done a live stream or just a simple tweet thread. But instead, they chose to bring people together in their home city to show what they've been building for years. This is our, our premium flagship model. And it's super important because like we have, a, I think, an, a brand that people truly love. We are like a community kind of focused brand. We care deeply about the community. We care deeply about the ethos, the original ethos of Bitcoin and crypto. And this is kind of our commitment to deliver the best experience to the, to the customers. And for our brand, this is, I think, yeah, the next level. So we are here. In this amazing event, we decided to do it in person. Uh, and now in the age of AI, everybody is like digital. We want to really connect to our community. We have old friends, new friends here. And it's awesome to bring a product to market in this way to deliver everybody this really great experience. Now, let's talk design. The Safe 7 looks different, but the difference is functional. It's built to feel solid, clean and premium. As a treasurer, we are open source company and we wanted like the full transparency in our products. So that's why we in incorporated uh, Tropic Square uh, chip, Tropic Zero One. So that's, that was the other, other thing. And of course, with wireless device, uh, you need to have a battery inside. So that's where we took a lot of time to search for the right battery. And we focused on the longevity because as you can see on the market, sometimes the standard batteries are not really like reliable in the long term. And with ours, it's just like ease of use, ease of mind. This balance of security and, and usability is, is, of course, is the like daily bread you have as a product manager in, in Trezor. Yeah. Because, you know, when you have like high security and lower usability, then you can shoot your, yourself in a, in a leg. And sometimes it's, it's you know, scary. Uh, but of course, you need to bring the usability up. And I think that we balance it with the Tropic Square chip quite a lot. Uh, actually, with the combination of a Tropic Square secure, uh, secure element and a standard one, which is like Optiga Trust M NDA secure element chip. Uh, and of course, like uh, the usability is thanks to our great software and firmware team who do a lot of things in UI and UX of our devices. It's subtle but intentional. And every design choice serves usability and trust and not just aesthetics. From prototype to finished products, it was basically two years to hard working years of dealing with development with something completely new. Because like two, three years ago, we were a really small company. We have a hardware team with just three people and we didn't even have like hardware engineering in, in the company. So for those two, three years, we were building the company as well as the product. So it was hard to like balance that. But, uh, but I think that we hit it on the spot and yeah, it was great, great right. Good design means nothing without solid security. And this is where Tresor really stands out. It's, it's really unique for the whole world, not just for hardware wallet industry, where you have real auditable uh, secure element. And secure elements are usual chips used in our phones, in our credit cards, when, whenever security is needed. But up until now, now all the secure elements are, let's say the security lies in the obscurity, because you don't really know what, what the black box is doing. And Tropic is fully transparent, so you can be sure that it's really safe. Most wallets rely on closed black box chips you have to blindly trust. But this one, it's open, verifiable, and designed for long-term security. It feels like the most luxurious product out there. But it's not just beauty, it is also with the Tropic uh, Zero One, the first auditable 
an open, transparent, secure element. That is absolutely super critical and important also for the mission to not trust any third parties, to not trust any NDAs, to sign NDAs where we cannot talk about security risk to our audience. Is also the first quantum ready uh, hardware wallet. That means in the post quantum world, you can still use your hardware wallets. We've built it in a unique way that we can upgrade once uh, there's like uh, new signatures available for the post quantum world that you don't have to buy new hardware wallets. And they're building it for a future that doesn't exist yet, but will. And at its core, Trezor isn't just a tech company. It's built on a belief in digital freedom and privacy. We are a mission-driven company. And I that's why we do it, honestly. And that's if you ask any of my colleagues here, they're, you know, like motivated basically by by this. And I think that's quite different from being purely business driven. Because if you're business driven, you basically look for profit. And there's nothing nothing wrong with that, by the way. I mean, I have respect for any kind of entrepreneurs and entrepreneur entrepreneurial endeavors. But I mean, there is some charm in being almost like sheltered in a way uh, and protected in the way that you are so focused on the mission that is providing the true self-custody, true ownership to people around the world that, um, yeah, I kind of, in some ways it's easier for me because I kind of know quite sure what we have to do because it limits your possibilities and it gives you sort of, so to speak, the la laser eyes focus on, on the goal, right? Yeah. And it does not allow you to to move uh, to the sides, and and actually I love it, and that's why you know uh, wake up and go to work every day, and I still enjoy it after seven years. <laughs> and that mindset, independence, and transparency shows up in everything from their open source code to how they handle user data. I hope mainly that more people will be in the self custody of hardware wallets. That's my uh, main sort of hope and wish. And my job as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's our job to uh, to persuade more people again by delivering amazing products and amazing uh, experiences. And uh, and yeah, I think at that time in ten years, you probably have like a larger portfolio of products. I can imagine uh, it will be maybe more integrated um, across the board. So uh, we are based in Prague. We have always been in Prague, and you know, more than fifty years of basically freedoms being oppressed by the communists and then the second world war before that even so yeah, i think it 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 grew really sort of a lot of skepticism towards the the government and the establishment and i believe these skeptics were you know kind of interested in bitcoin and the ethos of bitcoin uh, kind of naturally you know so i think it, it sort of resonates with with the people uh, and then when you kind of combine it or mix it with the kind of innovators and innovational kind of thinking, then and yeah, you, you have companies that are that are great and innovating in the crypto space. And while most of the space is focused on speculation, Trezor is focused on the foundation, trust, privacy, and real self custody. From Prague to the world, the Trezor Safe Seven is more than a wallet. It's a reminder of what crypto was built for: ownership.